How do China's neighbors view Beijing's military plans? Much of China's military budget has gone towards improving China's navy, and the country has built sophisticated naval and aviation bases on islands in the South China Sea that are the subject of territorial disputes. Because of these two considerations, China's neighbors are on edge over the prospect of a military showdown over territorial claims. Various countries, from Japan and South Korea to the Philippines, are increasingly wary of Beijing's growing aggressiveness and influence in the region. At the opening of the Chinese parliament on Sunday, outgoing Premier Li Keqiang announced an increase in the country's military spending, signaling the escalation of security threats from abroad. Beijing plans to spend some 1.55 trillion yuan $225 billion, on its military this year, an increase of 7.2% and the fastest increase since 2019. The military should devote more energy to combat training and strengthen military work in all directions and domains, Li said. While China has increased its defense budget this year, it still pales compared to the US, which has allocated over $800 billion to its military. Western experts, however, estimate that China spends substantially more on defense than publicly reported. China has embarked on a broad, long-term military modernization and expansion program since 2000, said Drew Thompson, a China expert at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore. I think the most recent budget increase for the PLA is very consistent with what we've seen in the last 22 years. According to Taiwanese defense researcher Su Yun Su, China is planning to shift its focus from land to maritime power, which is reflected in the country's defense budget. The Taiwan Strait, the South China Sea, and the East China Sea will be the areas covered by the first stage of Beijing's military expansion, he said. Next, China will set its sights on expanding into the second island chain, where it wants to influence the rebalancing of power, he added. The second island chain is made up of the islands of Japan, extending to Guam and the islands of Micronesia. Increased Threat Perception The increase in defense spending comes against rising geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific. Various countries, from Japan and South Korea to the Philippines, are growing increasingly wary of Beijing's growing aggressiveness and influence in the region. Their perception of a greater threat to regional security has led them to focus on their own defensive preparation and increase military spending. Japan, for example, announced a military record spending of 6.82 trillion yen $51.7 billion for the next year, an increase of about 26% over the previous year. After seven decades of pacifism, the government of Prime Minister Fumio Kishida also disclosed the greatest military deployment since World War II. Under the new military strategy, Tokyo will increase its defense budget to 2% of GDP and purchase missiles with a range of 1,000 kilometers, making it possible to strike ships or land targets. U.S.-China Balance South Korea is also increasingly concerned about China's military might, but Seoul's most immediate and pressing security challenge revolves around North Korea. Pyongyang has dramatically stepped up its aggressive maneuvers recently, with a record number of missile launches last year. South Korea must maintain excellent relations with both the United States and China because of the importance of both countries to the peninsula's security and economy. The government of President Yoon suk yeol has announced an increase in military spending, with the majority of the funds going towards countering North Korean threats. To counter China, Seoul is trying to bolster its security alliances. This week, South Korea agreed to end a long-standing dispute with Japan over grievances related to Tokyo's brutal rule of Korea between 1910 and 1945, a decision widely seen as a trade-off to improve defense ties. Thanks for watching.